that's me. My name is Charlie. I've had a pretty normal life. Well, that is up until now. This is a hold up. Everybody get on your ass. I don't want any funny business. I was down. Don't look at me. I said don't look at me, kid. That's my brother, Jack. I've been looking out for him for as long as I can remember. Get up, come here. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you. I want to leap over buildings. <coughs> want to fly over the shores. Save the people from the villains. Catch the crooks who rob the stores. Write my name upon the sky. And then you call Charlie? Me, Charlie. Charlie, stop your daydreaming. It's time to go, son. We ain't got all day. I got the check cash. Let's go to the store. Come on, Jack. Let's go. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Maybe we'll have samples at the store. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Roberts. I'm Donna Sue. I know who you are. We really need to talk today. Well, at least make yourself useful. Grab a bag. Mrs. Roberts, we really need to talk about Jack. What about him? Well, this isn't easy to say, but you're not getting any younger. Now, you can't care for Jack much longer. You need to start thinking about You ain't it. taking my boys away from me. He isn't your boy. You're his foster parent. And bound by the rules and guidelines of the foster system. He's my boy. I raised him. I raised both of them. Please understand, Mrs. Roberts. I have Jack's best interest at heart here. I'm only trying to make sure that he's well cared for. Now, don't you think that he would be better off in a program with other kids like him? What do you mean, kids like him? Jack's just fine the way God made him. He's got all the love in the world, and that's all he needs. Jack has special needs. He needs special care and training. Now, the STAR program, for example, you know, where kids get to work with therapy animals, it's a great place for kids like Jack. I know you're doing Don't worry. I'll protect you. I can't care myself. I know you can take care of yourself. <laughs> you need to start thinking about and make plans. It's going to be better for both of you in case something were to happen to you. Don't tell me how I'll be better off. Now, you need to get out of my house, Missy. I ain't sticking him in some facility. I'm healthy and fully capable of taking care of Jack and Charlie. There are programs now that- I said leave. I'll have to report this to my supervisor. And if you don't cooperate, and if he determines that you can't care for Jack anymore, he will be taken from you. That's what I'm here trying to help you avoid. Don't try me. Get out of my house now. This won't be the last you hear from me, Mrs. Roberts. What's well, Dar? I heard they make you take care of animals. I like animals. They make you shovel their poop. That's gross. Do you really think they just take you away from me? You and Grams are all I got. I'm scared. Don't be scared. I'll protect you. Like I always do. What if we run away? We are too. I don't know. Maybe out west. I saw on TV you can make a fresh start out west. Cool. I won't let them take you away. They can't separate us. Tomorrow, we're out of here. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. That smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know Yeah, I'm going for the ride And find myself I am alive And I saw Still I run toward the wind And let the challenge draw me in Cause I want more
That would do it. Where did that horse get off to? Oh man, they're never gonna let us back in there. You should have a match like Graham's always does. I got baked beans. Come on, let's get out of here. It's long. I don't know. Looks like your car overheated. Do you get back in big day? Hey there, pretty lady. Looks like you could use a ride. My car started overheating on me and just died. I just need help. Hop in. We'll get you some help. Get lost, kids. But all we're trying to do is look for a ride. Aren't you a little young to be out here looking for a ride? Well, my brother here's 18, so I guess it's perfectly fine. Well, I don't give rides, especially to no kids. So just move along and get away from the truck. Beat it. Here, go call your mom. She'll give you a ride. How do you make a phone call with a quarter? Mm, I don't know. All right, Sonny. Where'd you get to this time, buddy? Where'd you get to, old boy? I have an idea. Okay. Jack, we're stowaways. Come on, come on. Second, Jack. Where's your backpack? Yeah, it's my birthday, Grams. All right, I'll go get it. Stay here. I will be right back. Then. What are you boys doing out here? We're trying to get out west. Well, that's pretty far. How exactly you plan on doing that? We were hitching a ride with that truck, but that didn't end up so well. It's hiking ain't too safe these days. Where's your folks? We ain't got no folks. Well, I'm Sam. This here is Gracie. What's the last time you boys ate? This morning. Well, I was just getting ready to stop for some lunch. I might be able to scare up a couple of extra sandwiches if uh, a few boys were hungry. I am hungry. What are you boys' names? I'm Charlie. And this here is my big brother, Jack. Well, nice to meet you, Jack and Charlie. I'm out here looking for my horse, Sonny. He ran off through a break in the fence on my farm. Hey, you boys hadn't seen a horse on the loose out here, have you? Nope. Where y'all live? Nowhere. There must be somebody out there looking for you. Grams. Jack. Your Grams must be worried sick. It's best we're out here on our own. Best for everybody. 
Especially Jack. You're not gonna go. Locked up? Locked up for what? They wanna lock him up in a place called Star. Star? That place that lets children play with animals? I've heard of that. And they wanna lock him up there, huh? The woman told Grams. Said he'd be better off in a place like that, because Gramps is getting too old. So you figured leaving was just the right thing? Whatever I got to do to keep this big guy safe, I'll do it. Well, I got to find my horse. What say you guys help me? And I'll repay you with a hot meal back at the house. Sounds good. And maybe we can call your Grams and let her know that you're okay. So where do you think your horse ran off to? Not sure. Probably down by the lake. There's a filly down that way. He likes to chase some. <laughs> Old boy still got it. So how long you had your horse? Sonny, I got him from a rodeo about near 25 years ago. That boy used to do some pretty fine tricks. Oh, Sonny? Yes. Sonny, what have you done to your foot, old boy? Is it hurt? Yeah, looks like he's hurt pretty bad. Well, will he be okay? I don't know. That foot looks awful bad. If he can't walk, that ain't good for a horse. He won't make it. Well, can't you just put a cast on it or something? It's not how it works with horses. You have to save him. I mean, what do you do? Well, let's get him loaded up. Be back to the farm. I'll have the vet take a look at him. Alright boys, I'm gonna get him in the barn, then we'll uh we'll go on up to the house and I'll call the vet. Hey Doc, it's Sam. Hey look, uh Sonny got out and was running around, looked like he did some damage to his hoof. It, it looked serious to me. I I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Now, where'd your brother get to? I don't know. He was just here a minute ago. Come on, let's find him. Your brother's pretty good with a horse. Yeah, he likes all kinds of animals. He's always bringing home a critter of one sort or another. One time he found a frog in our backyard and brought it into the house and let it loose. Our grandma wasn't too happy when she found it in her cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> You really love your brother, don't you? Where are your parents? Well, my mama died right when I was born. That's when we went to live with my grams. So Jack's all you got left in the world, huh? Well, that's kind of like Sonny and me. We've been together so long, huh? I can't remember not having him around. I thought Jack and I could make it out there on our own. But turns out it's tougher than I thought. But please, Sam, just don't let them take him away from me. Charlie, sometimes you got to make tough decisions based on what's right for other folks, not just yourself. As much as it would hurt me and break my heart to 
let go. Well, Sonny, if the vet can't fix his foot, he'll have to be put down. If I was to patch him up just to make me happy, well, that wouldn't be fair to Sonny. So I guess what you're trying to say is we should let Jack try this star place. I don't reckon it'd hurt to give it a try. The show seems good with animals. Yeah, I guess you're right. I reckon we ought to call Grams. you. Well, I even called the police and everything. Got half the town out looking for you. Thanks for bringing my boys home. Hey, you're welcome, ma'am. You wasn't in trouble. They're good boys. You won't go get washed up. Look at you, you're filthy. I think we're fighting a losing game. Come on, Jack. Let's go back. Crams, I'm sorry for running away. I just wanted to protect Jack, and I just wanted to make sure that lady didn't take him away from me. I know, sweetheart. You've always looked after your brother, and that ain't got to change, even if he does go to Star. <laughs> Turns out, I couldn't protect him. I didn't save anybody, and I even lost him. But you found him again. You love your brother with all your heart. That's all he needs. Nobody can take that away from you. So, what's gonna happen next, Grams? I mean, what's gonna happen to Jack? Well, I don't know for sure. But I do know you two are gonna be all right. <laughs>